community. It's Cat again. Um, like the new background? And to gel. Um, anyway, I got some things to show you from this weekend. Um, this is part two of my uh, weekend dig, so hope you like it. This is going to be a mishmash of things. Um, you know, I do jump genres. Um, I have a couple of CDs to show you, and then uh, a group of records. So, um, let's see what I found. Um, oh. um, let's start with the CDs. Uh, the first one, I picked this up at the thrift store, um, which is the uh, Donna. kind of a punk alternative, more punk than alternative, uh, girl band. Yay. Uh, next thing, I was so jonesing to get this, <laughs> um, which is pink. Alicia Moore, and I think the guy's name on here is Dallas Green, I think, yeah, Dallas Green, um, Rose Avenue, so dying to get this, I think it just came out, mm, I don't think it's been out maybe a month, I haven't listened to it yet, because I was listening to some other things, but anyway, when I do listen to it, I'll let you know. But I'm sure it's going to be amazing. The one song I have heard off of here is amazing. And which is, well, I've heard one song and I wanted it. So, get it if you can. It's, I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Uh, now on to the vinyl. Uh, the first band I'm going to show here is, um... Rock the music. Um, rock the music is got a kind of a unique sound. Uh, lead, the lead singer on here is Brian Ferry, and he's um, he went on to do a solo career back in the '80s, and. I would say the music is kind of um, melodramatic. Definitely not dance music. It's kind of alternative, off the wall type music. I I would guess I would say, but this one is um, from '73 to '80, so this is their greatest hit. Um, but I have made a vow that every time I go out, I'm going to pick up one rocks and music until I get them all. So, we'll see. Anyway. That's the label. Leave just playing. The next thing I got here, I really, really, really was wanting. Um, it's going to add to my Bowie collection. In the previous video, I showed that I got pinup and I have um, Aladdin Saint. And now I have Diamond Dog. And it's a uh, gatefold. One of David Bowie's earlier records. Um, also, this is the censored cover because there is a non censored cover where it's showing the genitals. This is not showing the genitals. But, um, so happy to get there. Uh, next thing we got here is um, the, lead, the ex lead singer of Van Halen, David Lee Roth. This just has four songs on it, so. Um, it's an EP, but, um, you know, David Lee Roth, I mean, how can you go wrong, right? Warner Brothers label, Mint Condition Records, Leave. Oh, 
great picture, huh? Um, Alright, the next one I have here is from my childhood, um, which, I mean, come on, okay? Uh, John Taylor, Duran Duran bassist. I was a huge, huge, huge Duran Duran, and still am a huge Duran Duran fan. Um, this is actually a single. I do what I do, and it's actually off of a movie called Nine and a Half Weeks, which is an erotica movie. Um, love the song. Was about to fall over when I saw this was on vinyl. I mean, it's hard enough to find it on CD or cassette tape, let alone vinyl. So, very stoked to get that. We'll add to my Duran Duran collection. Uh, next thing I have here is uh, Lena Lovitch. She has a very unique sound. Um, stiff. Condition. She kind of sounds. I, w I guess I would put her in the same league with maybe Cindy Lauper or. You know, she's not really punkish like Cindy Lauper is sort of punkish, but she's just got a very unique sound. Um, kind of poppy. Um, but good, good nonetheless. Uh, this is Yato Chu. I have showed him in previous. He's jazz. Um, I actually did some research on him, and he's originally from Spain, I do believe. And um, he does all kinds of stuff. He does motion picture music. He done um, his own records. He plays various instruments. Um, this is a fold. He's amazing, amazing, amazing. And I think this is like the sixth record of his that I have. I actually have not listened to this one yet. But I mean, he's... Uh, I can't say enough about him. If you love jazz, you have to get some of his music. He is amazing. Uh, the next thing I have here is, uh, provocative percussion. And this was actually a gift. And it too is gatefold. And I did sample this. And the first thing I thought of when I heard it was, like, kind of sounds kind of like the music you would hear in Bewitch or, uh, I Dream of Genie which is interesting, and, I mean, I love it, so, you like instrumental percussion, you might want to check that out. Um, the next thing I got here is um, something I picked about the dollar bin, and because I love fairies and um, I read a lot, so I love, like, fairy tales and, and all that kind of stuff, um, I couldn't pass this next one up, so it's, um, Aesop's Fables by the Smothers Brothers. Um, Smothers Brothers comedians from the 60s, I believe. Uh, Aesop's Fables, I mean, we all know Aesop's Fables. So, um, this has got... The Boy Who Cried Wolf may be the most familiar one that most people would know. On it, done by the Smothers Brothers, they're comedians, so I'm sure it's going to be funny. I actually haven't listened to it yet. I haven't got a chance to, but, you know. Um, and in a prior video, I had mentioned about Young Swedish Video, uh, uh, Young Swedish Final, I'm sorry, had, um, that suggestion about the random pick, um, my random grabs for vinyl, I, I was going to start doing that. So, 
I did that again um, and look forward to seeing that on all my videos. Um, the first one that I did here is Pure Prairie League, which I was kind of stoked to, to actually have picked that because I really like that song Amy that's on here. They're a 70s band. Um, I'm sure you are familiar with that song. Uh, most people know that song. Uh, Amy, what you gonna do? That song. That is on this album. RC Records. So that was my first grab. Um, random grab. And the next one, I was really, really stoked to get it, too, because I really kind of wanted to buy it anyway. Um, and the copy that I got, the records are in condi good condition, but the sleeve, not so much. It's pretty beat up, and that's Woodstock. And this is three albums. So, like I said, it's kind of beat up. The um, cover to it is kind of beat up. So... But, you know, that just adds to the nostalgia of it. So, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really bother me. I just need to be careful with it. But the records, they're on, um, perfect condition. And this has, this is like a recording of Woodstock, obviously. And it has Joan Baez. Um, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, Jimi Hendrix, um, Slow and the Sta uh, Family Stone, uh, Arthur Guntry, Joe Cocker, it just has a lot of people, Jefferson Starship on here, um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Def if you're into that 60s type music, definitely something you want to try and pick up. Um, if you're into Hendrix, something you want to pick up. I mean, it's a live album, so, I mean, you can't beat that. So, there is another one. So, there's what this Woodstock. That's what it looks like. And then there's another one. It has, like, a little kit on the front of it. It's, got, it's very similar to this type of cover, and it has, like, a little naked kit on the front of it. Um, that's the second one. You would really want to try to pick up both of them. But, uh, that's what I got. Um, and, uh, don't forget to leave the comments at the bottom. And don't forget to sign up, um, subscribe to my page. Good seeing ya. Talk to you soon.